below the power lines. When NES serviceman Charlie Stewart arrived, he knew it was a mistake for that bucket to be in the air, and he tried in vain to stop the firemen. I yelled as loud as I could a dozen times, and they were going up all the time toward the water. But no one could hear his cries amid the noise, and the bucket hit a main power line carrying 13,800 volts of electricity, not once, but twice. They swung out away from it, and they swung it back into it for, for no reason. I don't know why. But they swung back into it and got into it the second time with his bare head. The fireman who received the electrical shock, Captain J.B. Murphy, was rushed to General Hospital. He wasn't the only firefighter hurt battling this blaze. Larry Smith was knocked from a ladder by a fire hose that broke. He received cuts and bruises. Heavy smoke from the materials stored inside the Goodwill store hampered firefighters in their efforts to control the blaze, but by 8.30 it was under control. Eyewitnesses say the firefighter who received the electrical shock should never have gone up until the electricity in those lines was shut off, but fire officials said they knew the power lines were live. Was the fire department aware that it was hot? Yes, we were. Yes, we were. NES hadn't got here yet to get it turned off. Despite the accident, that high-voltage power line was never shut off, although other lines in the area were. To do so would have caused a blackout to most of downtown, said an NES spokesman, and he said that can only be done in a critical emergency situation.